Hello, frugal friends. Welcome back to the channel. Now, today we're doing our weekly word. We're going to continue in Galatians 5, 22 through 26. This is Paul writing. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such thing, there is no law. So that, as Christians, these are our fruits. They are what we inspire to do or be or feel or behave, right? Gentleness, self-control. Those who belong to Christ Jesus has crucified the sinful nature, nature or has crucified the flesh with its passions and desires. Since we live by the Spirit, let us keep in step with the Spirit. Let us not become conceited, provoking, and envying each other. So that's the opposite of what we uh, read was in the flesh last week, right? We are opposite. We, we don't live by the flesh. We live by the Spirit. Now, I know... That is hard to, to die to your flesh or die to self or to not want to, you know, give it back to somebody when they give it to you. It's, it's definitely hard. I struggle with that. <laughs> I struggle with that a lot. But I really try. And it's, it's because I know God sees me. See, he sees what I'm doing. He knows my heart. Like when God looks at us, he's not looking at our flesh. He's not looking at our social media pages. He's not looking at our car in the driveway, our house or what bag we have. He's looking at our heart to see what's inside of us and that we are living by the fruits of the spirit. And when we walk with Christ, those fruits are readily available to us. And I think that that is a blessing. I truly do. That if I'm down or I'm weary, I can pick up the word of God and it helps me. And the reason I do this YouTube channel is because I just wanted people to know that God loves them and how good God is. And I want to share him with everybody I can. I have not lived a leave it to beaver life or a uh, huxtable life. I've lived a real life. So you saying, well, you don't know what I've been through in my life. I don't. But I've been through a lot of my own. And so I can relate this to you that no matter how hard our life has been or is or may be going to be, God is still who he is. He still loves you. And if you trust in him and follow him, he's going to be he's going to be there for you anyway. If you you know, he don't you don't have to be perfect. He loves you. But when you are in need, you turn to God. He'll be there for you. Thank you for um, joining me today. And as always, you guys, be blessed.